Good day, everyone. You're welcome to Love Food. I'm Elizabeth Ifeade Tono. Our topic today is do not beg in the face of rape. Do not beg in the face of rape. Quickly, before I say anything, I have a full audio message on in the face of rape. The title is in the face of rape. Get to our Telegram channel at Sadozite. It will take you to Sados Family Worldwide. Then you type in the face of rape. It will bring it to you. You download it. It's free. Uh, the, the, the topic is in the face of rape. You listen to everything. But I quickly want to tell you little thing that can actually help you in the face of rape. However, if it is a gang rape, it is not something you should try. I pray for you, you not be a victim of rape in Jesus' name. You not be a victim of gang rape. If it is a gang rape, then it is only God that can help you. But if you are face to face with a man, because this is actually what happens every day, out of 100 uh, categories, out of 100 issues, uh, uh, on rape, many of it, larger percentage of it could actually be avoided. Could actually be avoided if you are empowered with the right knowledge. You are face to face with a man, just a single man. It's not like you, someone is tying, is holding your hand, someone is holding your legs. It's not like you are tied up. A man is trying to rape you. Then you should not come out crying and say, I have just been raped. If you are faced with a man, face to face, and is trying to rape you, target the man's scrotum. Target the man's scrotum and eat as hard as you can. Eat with your strength. Eat it with everything you've got. Eat it with everything that is inside of you. Eat his scrotum. Let him be a king. He will leave the throne. Let him be a giant. He will fall. He can't withstand it. He will be in trouble and you will escape. Please do not go smashing a bottle on someone's head. Like someone was saying, I wanted to smash the man bottle. Do not smash bottle. You might have to face the, the, the law if you do something like that. And there might be a lot of trouble for you. But if you eat someone on his scrotum, let him go out and tell people how it happened. How it happened that you are now able to eat a scrotum. And in fact, no one dare tell such story. I believe you have been blessed. Thank you. God bless you.